Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the state space model of DC to DC buck converter. The state space model of any system consists of two equations, state equation and output equation. State equation is nothing but x dot is equal to ax plus bu. Output equation is cx plus du. Here, x dot is the state derivative of the state vector, x is the state vector, y is the output vector, u is the input vector, a is the state transition matrix, b is the input matrix, c is the output matrix, and d is feedforward matrix. Now we are going to see how to derive the state space model for of buck converter. So we know that the buck converter can operate in two modes. The first mode is the mode in which the switch S is in the on condition and diode D is in the off condition. And in mode two, the switch will be in the off condition and diode will be in the on condition. Now for the first mode, uh, we can have two equations in terms of the state variables. Uh, here there are two energy storage ele elements, L and C. So that will be two state variables. Uh, the one state variable will be the current flowing through the inductor and the another state variable will be the voltage across the capacitor. So we need to uh, get the uh, DIL by DT and DVC by DT to get the state equation. To apply that, uh, we can write the equations uh, during the mode 1. The mode 1 will be for the duration of T on which is nothing but k into t, where k is the duty cycle and t is the time period. So we can write the voltage across the inductors as L into t I L by dt is equal to Vs minus V0, which can be rewritten as d I L by dt is equal to 1 by L into Vs minus Vc, where V0 is equal to Vc. Similarly, we can write the nodal equation at this point uh, which is uh, uh, which can be written as I L is equal to I C plus I naught. I L uh, or I C can be written as I L minus I naught. I C can be written in terms of voltage across the capacitor as C into V C by uh, C into D V C by D T equal to I L minus I naught. From here we can get D V C by D T is equal to one by C in, into I L minus V C by R, where I naught can be written as V naught by R uh, or we, since V0 and Vc are same, we can write Vc by R, where R is the load resistance. Now, uh, we have obtained two uh, differential equations, uh, DIL by DT and DVC by DT. These two equations should be represented in the matrix form to get the state vector. So, uh, DIL by DT is nothing but IL dot, which and uh, DVC by DT is nothing but VC dot. That is written in the matrix form as 0 minus 1 by L, 1 by C minus 1 by RC. ILVC plus 1 by L0 Vs, where this 0 minus 1 by L1 by C minus 1 by RC is the state uh, matrix, say A1, and uh, this is the input mat input matrix, and this is the state uh, variable vector, Vs is the input. And similarly for mode 2, we can write, uh, the mode 2 is for the duration of T off, which can be uh, written as 1 minus K into T. So during this mode, uh, we can write the uh, uh, differential equations for uh, L and C. So uh, the in mode mode two, the voltage across the inductor can be written as since uh, supply is disconnected, uh, the voltage equation for V L it can be written as L into T I L by D T is equal to minus V naught. From here, we can write T I L by D T is equal to one by L into uh, minus V C, where V C and V naught are same. And similarly, again, we can write uh, the K KCL equation at this node uh, to get uh, DVC by DT. So this is the uh, capacitor current, which is nothing but uh, the IL minus I naught. So C into DVC by DT is equal to IL minus I naught. From here, we can write DVC by DT is equal to 1 by C IL minus VC by R. Again, uh, we need to write uh, these two equations in the matrix form uh, to get the state equation during mode so in the matrix form, we are writing here IL dot VC dot is equal to 0 minus 1 by L, 1 by L, 1 by C minus 1 by RC into I1, IL VC plus 0, 0 VS. So uh, in this, uh, uh, the capacitor uh, differential, uh, the differential equation for uh, of the uh, 
voltage across the capacitor T, we see by dt, it, it, it don't have any input uh, variable here. So the input matrix will be of 0, 0. Now we need to write the output equation. We uh, we have obtained the state, equa st uh, state uh, uh, e equation uh, for the two modes. Uh, now we have to get the output equation for the two modes. For mode 1, uh, we can write the output equation as V0 is equal to Vc, where V0 is the output uh, variable and Vc is the state variable, so which can be written in the matrix form as Y is equal to 0, 1, IL, Vc. Similarly, for mode 2 also, V0 is equal to Vc, so we will get the output equation for mode 2 as Y is equal to 0, 1, IL, Vc. Uh, so this is C1 matrix and this is C2 matrix. And so we can write the state space model for mode 1 and mode 2, uh, which includes the state equation and the output equation. So state equation for mode 1 will be A1x plus B1u, and the output equation will be C1x. So here C1 and C2 are same. Uh, mode for mode 2, again, the state equation will be A2x plus B2u, and y is equal to C2x. So substituting for a one B1, C1, we will be getting the state space model for mode 1 here. Again, uh, we after substituting A2, B2 and all, uh, we will be getting the state equation for mode 2. Now, uh, we have the state space model for mode 1 and mode 2 separately. Uh, in order to get the overall state uh, space model for the entire buck converter, uh, we need to have the average state space model, uh, which combines both on and off period to give the entire model as a single common model. Uh, it, uh, it 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 up it does the approximation of the switching converter as a continuous linear a linear system. Uh, so in order to have this average state space model, uh, we have to do the approximation of the switching converter, considering it as the continuous linear system. Uh, so that uh, for obtaining that, it requires that the effective corner frequency of the output filter can be much smaller than the switching frequency. So. Uh, so the average state, sp state space model can be written as uh, as a single model as like this x dot is equal to a x plus b a x a one x plus b one u into k plus a two x plus b two u into one minus k. Similarly, the output equation can be written as c one x k plus c two x into one minus k. Now, uh, after combining the a terms and the b terms, uh, we can write x dot equal to a1 k plus a2 into 1 minus k whole thing into x plus b1 k plus b2 into 1 minus k whole thing into u. Similarly, the y equation can be uh, written as by combining c1 and c2 as c1 k plus c2 into 1 minus k into x. So uh, in the places of a1, a2, a, b1, b2, we can uh, substitute the uh, values of a1, a2, b1, b2, which we have obtained uh, during the mode 1 and mode 2. So uh, as a whole, we can combine the entire thing a1k plus a2 into 1 minus k as the single uh, matrix uh, as a. And similarly, b1k plus b2 into 1 minus k can be combined together to, uh, and we can write this as, uh, that as the single uh, component of b. And similarly, c1k plus c2 into 1 minus k can be written as c. So uh, in order to get the uh, average state space model, this is the overall state space model of the buck, buck converter. This is the overall space model of the buck converter. Uh, we can substitute A1, A2 values to get the overall, and similarly C1, C2 values to get the model of the entire model of the buck converter. So with this, uh, we have applied the state space model of the buck converter. Uh, if you uh, want to have the buck converter operation and how to write the uh, how to get the average output voltage and how to get the design equation, so you can refer the uh, video link which is given in the description box, uh, which will be give you how to uh, get the differential equations during mode one and mode two. Thank you.